The memories, nice. Danelle. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, um, thank you. It was great being back on the stage, I'm sure, at the weekend, was it? Did it feel like you were sort of going home? Yeah, it felt, it felt like I was at home. Like, just like here, like, it feels comfortable. I'm, <laughs> I'm actually comfortable. I can actually take a glass of water you and can. feel comfortable. <laughs> First time I, I couldn't, but yeah, like it's just it's just amazing to be back, and like, I'm so happy. Yeah, and seeing sort of all the old faces and everything as Literally, well. Literally, that that is one of the craziest things. Like seeing everyone who used to see is just amazing. Everyone behind the scenes and everyone in front of the scenes. Seeing Will again um, on on the actual stage like brought memories back. And yeah. It was just, it was... Well, what happens now with with Will? I am. Do you keep in touch? And what is the relationship off the back yeah, of the show? Yeah, he's like he's like a mentor to me because. Like we've gone to the studio together and he sent me messages sometimes telling me oh, you need to do this improvements for like performing. Uh -huh. like, I remember like, a couple of days ago, he's like, yo man, you need, to, you need to work out every day so you, so you can survive longer on stage. And I was like, yeah, because <laughs> literally... That's a very good impression. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think it's because I spent too much time with him. That's probably why. But yeah, he's just been a really good mentor to me. Just exactly like what I expected it to be. Yeah, after the he course. really invests in you, doesn't he? You yeah, can tell that when he he's, does. he's doing the coaching role. But the last time we did speak, it was just before the final, yeah. and you were about to head off to do the Queen's to, to perform at the Queen's birthday celebrations, wow. which was just back. awesome entirely. Yeah. So how did that all go? How did it work out for you? It was crazy because, like, when it's happening, you don't feel like it's actually happening. Like. I remember meeting the likes of um, Shaggy and Sting and all these huge celebrities um, before even going on stage. And um, that was like at the point where I was like, whoa, <laughs> like this is crazy. Then I met Meghan and Harry and everyone, it was just insane. And then going on stage, I remember Prince Harry was like um, a star of the future. And before, before that actually, he said to me, um, our money's on you before going on stage. I was like, thanks Harry, no pressure. So Prince <laughs> Harry knew you were gonna be a winner and called you the big star. I mean, that it doesn't crazy. get much better than that, does it? It was, it was so <laughs> insane. And then actually performing, like the performance went so well. And like, people went crazy over the handshake that like, I, I got home and I looked at my phone, like straight after going off stage, I was like getting ready to go home. I looked at my phone, I see people like, people messaging me and Twitter going, oh, that handshake though. I, I just, that just went crazy. And then my performance as well, everyone loved the performance and I enjoyed it. Like I remember seeing like, there was like all the leaders, the world leaders sat there and they were all just like clapping. And, and it was crazy because I, I forgot that Theresa May would be there and like all these big celebrities like Matt LeBlanc. And, um, and then I look on the TV screen just before I go on and there's shots of Theresa May, the queen. I was like, it just froze a little yeah. bit. It feels a bit real now, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's when it kicked in. <laughs> I that's when it kicked in. You had a little moment as well with Prince Harry and Meghan, didn't you? Your dad was with you. My dad was with me, yeah. It was crazy because um, I had to go into Zoe Ball's dressing room um, and because that was next to the stage. And um, so I went in there and like, it was really calm because you'd expect like to be like huge security checks and make sure like there's, there's no pin on the floor or something like that. But it was so chill, <laughs> like they walked in and I was expecting like a handshake and Meghan Markle literally ran to me and gave me a hug. What? She's like, she screamed my name, she's like, Danelle. I was like, whoa. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then, yeah, it was just crazy, like getting a hug from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. It's fabulous. And it, it's just, this dream has continued every day for you really, hasn't it? So you've got this big recording deal and you single out, like we heard on, on The Voice, buying like a drama package <laughs> dance moves. You got it all, Danelle. And you were part of the whole writing process and the creative side of this as well, weren't you? Yeah, um, I, was, I was blessed enough to have like amazing twin backing dancers. They're not even backing dancers, they're like my friends now. <laughs> so like it was like I had this we had this crazy idea to have two sets of twins, two boys, two girls, and literally went into the into the um, dance studio, did choreography, just gelled in. We made that in like a day. I made the song in a day and I did the choreography in a day. Like it's just crazy. And now I have this opportunity to be able to perform with them wherever I go. And yeah, it's just they're like my friends, like my buddies. So I always enjoy dancing with them. The way it should be. Well, best of luck with everything, Danelle. Thank you you've so just, much. honestly, I'm so happy that it's gone so brilliantly well for you so far. I have to ask you before you go, how's your granny? She's amazing. Is she good? Loves the track as well. Good, good. I knew she would. I knew she would. Will you send her our love as well? Yes, I will. Great. Lovely to see you again. Thank good you luck so with much. the single and everything else.